Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, yeah, hello, welcome. My name is Dima and it's another video, it's another look. It's all about the neutral soft kind of look with a pop of color and bold lips and I am feeling this look like I'm over the moon right now because of this look like the look is so super fun to create and nice and I cannot wait to show you guys how I created it okay so for this video we're going to start with the brows which did I say the brows? no not the brows we're going to start with a uh, eyes first and i was actually feeling myself in this video as you guys can see so for eyeshadow base we are using the la girl pro concealer in the shade um this is actually the yellow character i think but it is so bright like super bright for my own for my skin tone yes yeah, so i use it as an eyeshadow base so i'm going to buff that out and blend it i already did my brows off camera so you guys can see and i concealed my brows with another concealer which is um early in cool tan and I'm using the yellow corrector as an eyeshadow base but that one is super brighter now we're going to use this drugstore palette that I got from Aliexpress and I'm taking that neutral dark brown shade I'm going to use a brush to pack that into the outer corner of our eyelid I'm not going to pack that in and then to blend out that shade I'm using another brown which is also neutral but that is like lighter than the first brown we applied all the brushes I'm using are for uh, uh, for, uh, for uh, uh get it together okay all the brushes i'm using for the eyes are from and more it's also a brown from aliexpress their brushes are super nice and the quality is good comp for the price that i got it for like it's a good quality brush okay the brushes are good they're of good qualities so i'm using like a tapered kind of brush a smaller one to buff in that shade and i just realized in this video that you guys cannot even actually see the shade like you cannot see it that much it's not showing up on my skin tone as i wanted to but it is fine considering that this um old look is kind of a neutral soft kind of look so it's it's fine it's okay so i'm going to use a brush to just you know take some concealer and just pat it on my lid just to you know blend out the creases that already formed on our lid before i go in with our lid shade and i'm using that very light bone shade i call it a bone shade was kind of it's not super white it's like a bone shade it's toned down so i'm using that for our lid color so i'm going to pack that in with just some regular lid um, some regular brush did i just say it's a regular lid <laughs> i meant it's just a regular um packing brush any packing brush would do just fine yeah so now i'm taking the liquid liner i'm just going to create um a line just a quick advice guys if you're going to be smudging your liner i suggest to use a cream product do not use a liquid liner like me because this liquid liner dries so fucking fast and by the time i went in with my black shadow to smudge it like it was a struggle for me like i kept tugging on the um you know i kept i kept tugging on my eye like I learned my lesson I did the first eye but I'm like shoot I already did one eye so I might as well just match both eyes together so I went seeing with a liquid liner again even though when I did my first eye it gave me some issues so I'm just using a flat dome brush I think that brush is from eye blend I'm going to use it to just pack some black shadows on top of the liquid liner and hopefully try to blend it out like smudge it and you know create a shadow at the other yeah Ugh. create a shadow like with depth on the outer corner of my eyes just create a depth like at the outer corner of my eye and that's what i'm doing as you can see in the video so we're going to leave the eyes and move on to the face the only reason why i didn't put on my lashes before doing my face was because i could not find any of my eyelash glue like i searched and searched and searched and i could not find it so i just told my mom at that particular time to just help me look for it so i can just get on the rest of the makeup so i moved on to my face and i'm using the pond's vanish oil i don't know how to, I, don't, I don't know the name but it's basically a pond cream i use it as a primer because it 
it makes your face matte and it makes your face matte and just you know keeps your makeup on all day so i'm just going to apply that all over my face and i think i have even applied too much but yeah i just made it work foundation i'm using two foundations i'm using the early girl pro um hd matte foundation in caramel and the maybelline super stay one in um truffle i'm just going to mix both together like i had a few drops of both foundations on my face and i'm going to use a flat brush to you know mix them on my face and spread it all over my face before i go in with a beauty blender a beauty blender to buff them out And by the way guys i installed my air myself for the very first time <laughs> i can't say i did a great job but i didn't do a very uh, i didn't do a bad job i was actually in the is this not the best baby air style i've ever done like i can do like a great baby air style but uh, i was just in the orbit that i'm just like ever i do it i'm going to wear it like that so I'll give the baby ears and all of that so for concealer i'm using the elegant pro one in cool town i'm going to use a flat concealer brush to place it in the um parts of my face that i want to conceal and i liked which is underneath my eyes the bridge of my nose cubits bow my chin and my forehead i feel like i say this every time i do a video and most of you guys already know that but i don't know why i repeat it in every single video Cha. I'm just trying to help you guys out here. So before I blend in my concealer, I'm going to go in with the Jordana foundation, which is pretty dark. I'm going to use it to contour. So I'm only placing this on my um, cheekbones, I think. Yeah, I didn't place it anywhere else except my cheekbones. And I'm going to use the bottom part of the beauty blender, which we used to buff out our concealer. No, our foundation. I'm going to use it to buff out that contour. That's dark foundation yeah you can see it's like blended smooth it blended like a dream like no ash lines nothing yeah that's a pretty good foundation it's quite it's very lightweight it's not like thick that's why i like to use it to contour because it's very lightweight now i'm going to use the pointy part of the beauty blender i'm going to damp it again with um some makeup um fix spray and then which is the um point side of the beauty blender to blend out our concealer i like to blend out every other part first before i get to my eyes because i want it to get thicker and you know sit for a while so that the coverage increases so yeah that's what i like to do and i blend my concealer from bottom to top like i like to blend it from bottom to top like in an like an ascending motion like I start from the bottom part and then I ascend towards like directly underneath my eyes. Yeah, to set a concealer this time, I'm using um the Zaron Cosmetics Mattifying Powder. I don't know why I used a pressed powder to set my concealers. I don't know why, but I get it. It was really good. Like it gave me this kind of um a smooth veil thing. Can you see? Like it's blurred underneath my eyes, and it was a really good um powder. It wasn't. It was a really good powder. Like it's not that heavy or anything. It's lightweight, and I didn't have to use a whole lot of powders to set underneath my eyes, cause like it's 
it's just good it's it's that good and it's a mattifying powder i would definitely recommend it because it just made my concealer um to be in place and it didn't move throughout the day so we are setting everywhere that we applied our concealer and to set our contour in place i'm using the face palette from ellie pride in the darkest shade in the palette i'm going to use the br this brush is from real techniques technically almost all the brushes i'm using in this video is from real techniques so i'm just going to use that shade to set our contour and i'm also going to use it to contour our forehead remember we didn't add any um foundation to our forehead to contour we didn't add any of that so i'm just going to use that powder to contour because i don't want my forehead to be too dark so yeah that's what i'm doing and i'm going to also contour my jawline my chin yeah Now I'm using um, a smaller brush. It's it's quite slanted. I'm using it to contour my nose and that same um, powder from the face palette. I'm just going to use it to contour my nose and you know give it like that, make it snatched, make it look like we have a, a nose job going on. Make our nose look more pointed than it is. Yeah, I'm just trying to catfish you guys out here. And now to set all over my face. I'm using um that same powder I think but another shade I didn't show you guys but I'm using like a lighter shade of powder and this big buffing brush and now we are going to bake our face I'm using a such a buttercup um loose setting powder I'm just going to carve out our contour to make it more sculpted and more sharp and i'm also going to um bake underneath my eyes i'm also going to use that same powder to carve out our nose contour so it looks much more pronounced okay now back to our eyes and um, we want uh, like a pop of color so i'm using the blue shimmer shadow from the morphe palette and just a random brush i'm just going to apply that on the low lower lash line i think this is the only um shadow i applied to a lower lash line i didn't apply any other shadow just this one because i want the eyes to pop you know the um top of the eyes is quite neutral and soft and not that pronounced as you can see so i just want the lower lash line to give it a pop so i'm adding that blue shimmer shade it's like a turquoise blue shade now for our inner corner no not inner corner for our low lower lash line is it the lower no the water line i don't know what i'm saying for the water line i'm using the elegant pro primer in white so i'm just going to use a um, liner brush to apply that in our water line I thought um, a black would make the look uh, a little bit more dramatic and all of that. So I just want the white liner to open up my eyes. That's why I used white. And it actually complements the look better. And I think it would have done. And I think it would have done better than the black and the water line. Yeah. So moving on to mascara. I'm using the um, Maybelline one. The Big Colossa Mascara. I'm going to use it for our top lashes alone to coat our lashes. I think at this point I already found my um, lash glue, I think. Yeah, so I just um, coated my low, uh, my top lashes. I don't like using big mascaras for my bottom lashes. So I'm going to do that later on in the video. And now I'm just dusting away the bake and any excess powder on our face before we move on to setting our makeup 
and keeping it in place i'm using the kiss beauty makeup setting spray this one is really nice and it has a very nice smell like it smells like sheer butter and aloe vera i'm not kidding so it's really nice it's like kind of hydrating and it also sets your makeup at the same time i'm just going to fan it down so that it can dry before not fully dry but you know just a little bit dry so i can add our uh, highlight for highlight i'm using the morphe 902g palette and i'm using the first shade in the palette to highlight and the brush i'm using is um we techniques one this is their certain brush and this highlight is bomb like it's bomb i think this is my favorite highlight because it complements my skin tone better it's like a, a champagne type of gold highlight so i'm just going to place this on the eye points of my cheekbones and i bring my highlight a little bit further into my face like to the middle part of my face and i'm also going to highlight um above my brows which is my forehead and our chin and cubits bow and to highlight our nose i go in with a small pencil brush to do that so it can be precise and i don't like apply the product everywhere so i wanted to tone down the highlight a little bit because it was like boom 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 it was like right in your face so i would just use the, the beauty blender to use the beauty blender to tone it down I already applied my lashes off camera I, I forgot to point out that to you guys I already applied it off camera and I also applied my bottom lash primer as you can see I use a skinny mascara for my lower um, lashes and I'm also applying that um, I'm applying the highlight to the inner corner of my eyes so that's our inner corner highlight for the day so yeah and a little bit on my brow bone just to give us that little pop so when you turn sideways you can see the glow on the brow bone and on the cheekbones like it ties together So moving on to our lips, we're using the Uda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Trendsetter. Trendsetter, it's like um like a deep red shade. So I'm just going to apply this on my lips. Of course, I'm going to apply it on my lips. Where else would I be applying a liquid lipstick? And this was the part where I was like feeling myself at that point in time, like I was all hyped up. <laughs> so this completes the look. This completes the look we are done. And yeah, I took off my wig cap. No, not wig cap. I took off my bonnet. Yeah, and this is the complete look with the air and everything. I actually styled this and myself. I installed it myself, styled it myself. And I'm proud of it so thank you guys for watching today's video I hope you guys learned a thing or two if you have any questions just comment down below and I'll reply to them and do not forget to follow me on all social media platform it's at Dima Coco on snapchat and twitter and on instagram it's a dima underscore coco also give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you learned a thing or two share to your friends who you think might be interested in this kind of videos and most importantly subscribe to my channel like join the family why they are you not subscribed thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye